as tensions between Beijing and Washington continue to ramp up. All eyes are on China's carrier killer missiles. In the Taiwan Strait crisis that once broke out, the U.S. aircraft carrier fleet descended into the waters near the Taiwan Strait to closely watch the movements of the Chinese People's Liberation Army. China's military operations by sea, land and air were exposed in a glance, but there was no alternative. At that time, China's military strength was weak, the equipment and weapons were backward, and the power gap was huge. Targeted weapons and equipment have not been realized, and the aircraft carrier has not been built successfully. It can only detour through other forces to counter sanctions. Two aircraft carriers can completely suppress China's naval and air forces. Cross-sea land operations were not feasible at the time. What is an anti-ship missile? In fact, it is to carry out research and transformation on the basis of ordinary ballistic missiles and carry out precise strikes against moving targets. The ejection speed of ordinary ballistic missiles is difficult to control in the later strokes. After being modified for its characteristics, it becomes a killer mainly for the aircraft carrier fleet. As the name suggests, it is what the carrier killer refers to. The most representative of China's anti-ship ballistic missiles is the Dongfeng 21D ballistic missile. After the DF-21D missile was put into service, after several years of research and development, the Dongfeng-26 anti-ship ballistic missile was also opened. The Dongfeng-26 anti-ship ballistic missile that was first exposed in the 2015 military parade was compared with the first generation. The Dongfeng-21D ballistic missile has increased in length and diameter, and its effective range is 4,000 to 5,000 kilometers. This means that this type of missile can hit the east and cover the entire Guam as far as it can hit the U.S. military in the Indian Ocean. Diego Garcia Air Force Base on the top. Its range is longer, and its precision is higher. Compared with the previous first-generation Dongfeng 21D ballistic missiles, the DF-26 missile can accurately attack ground targets, including the important multipurpose attack missiles used by the U.S. military to advance airports and ports. The DF-26 missile is the first in the world to realize a multi-type missile warhead. Realizing electromagnetic pulse warhead. Ground penetrating warhead, letter cluster anti-runway warhead, nuclear warhead and other missiles with different warheads, especially its anti-aircraft carrier function. In 2016, China and the United States faced each other tit for tat in the South China Sea. This was already the largest military confrontation between China and the United States after the self-defense counterattack against Vietnam. In this collision, Dongfeng 21D played an extremely important role. Dongfeng 21D has a range of 1,800 kilometers and can strike ships in the first island chain. Dongfeng 26 has a range of 4,000 kilometers and is more than enough to reach the waters of Guam. It can completely hit the sea targets of the second island chain with firepower. The appearance of these two eastern series of anti-ship ballistic missiles gave China an asymmetric advantage over the U.S. aircraft carrier fleet within the second island chain. Since then, the South China Sea and the Taiwan Strait will no longer be areas where the U.S. aircraft carrier fleet can rampage. China's DF-26 carrier killer missile can hit targets on land and sea using either a nuclear weapon or a conventional munition. This is a weapon the U.S. Navy specifically is very concerned about. China's DF-26 missile could someday sink a Navy aircraft carrier in a war, as tensions between Beijing and Washington continue to ramp up, all eyes are on China's carrier killer missiles. For many years, Chinese officials have boasted that it possesses major weapons capable of preventing U.S. aircraft carriers from operating close enough to the coastline to launch airframes. The Dong Feng 26 or DF-26, designed by the North Atlantic Treaty Organization NATO as CHSS-18, is an intermediate-range ballistic missile in service with the People's Liberation Army. Since Beijing only has two carriers in service, compared to the U.S. Navy's 11 nuclear-powered ships, it is hoping to leverage its DF-26 to level the playing field. The DF-26 was conceptualized sometime in the 1990s after China had no way to accurately target or hit a U.S. Navy aircraft carrier during the various Taiwan situations that occurred during that time. 
According to the Center for Strategic and International Studies, U.S. officials in the 2010s thought it was China's objective to acquire what they considered were highly accurate conventional IRBMs. Within a few years, the first images depicting the system's launcher circulated, and by 2014, U.S. intelligence sources confirmed the missile's existence. The DF-26 was publicly unveiled during a military parade in Beijing in 2015. In April 2018, the missile entered service with the PLA's rocket force. Chinese state media outlets claim that the DF-26 can carry out both conventional and nuclear strikes against ground and naval targets. That could mean land targets like U.S. bases in Guam or warships like a Ford-class aircraft carrier. As detailed by CSIS, the DF-26 employs a modular design, allowing operators to rapidly swap nuclear and conventional payloads in the field. 16A new model of DF-26 TEL appeared shortly after the DF-26's 2015 debut with a hinged, separate warhead cover, potentially to facilitate warhead loading operations. These payloads are typically housed in a finned, biconic maneuvering re-entry vehicle, similar to the warheads featured on China's DF-15B, DF-21C, and DF-16 missiles. Analysts speculate that Beijing may have carried out its first operational test of its carrier killer back in 2017. China's Ministry of National Defense announced that a new missile was tested in the Bohai Sea. However, some experts suggest that the system used could have been a submarine-launched missile and not the DF-26. In 2020, Beijing launched a DF-26 missile towards the South China Sea after it accused a US U-2 spy plane of entering a no-fly zone in the Bohai Sea. According to the US Department of Defense's annual China Military Power Report in 2023, Beijing has at least 500 missile launches in service, with about 250 capable of being reloaded. After the results of the 2016 South China Sea arbitration came out, on July 12, the Chinese and American navies faced off in the South China Sea. The United States used the two aircraft carriers Reagan and Stannis, about 10 frigates and guided missile destroyers, and about 150 fighters of various types. They have already arrived at China's doorstep. The three major fleets of the Chinese military have come out. Several generals gathered in the South China Sea. Hundreds of ships arrived in the South China Sea to conduct actual naval exercises. At the same time, many carrier killers Dongfeng 21D were also sent to Guangdong and Hainan. Under the deterrence of Dongfeng 21D, H-6K and the Navy, the U.S. aircraft carrier fleet could not resist being forced to leave the South China Sea.